Welcome back. Now, the FNB Art Johannesburg returns to the Santa and Convention Center for its 16th edition. And Africa's leading art fair will showcase the latest contemporary art and design from the 8th to the 10th of this month. And the inaugural BMW Art Generation is being launched ahead of the art fair. For more on this, especially for art lovers uh, and what you can look forward to this year, we're joined by Mandla Sibego. Good afternoon to you, Mandla, and thank you so much for joining us. The uh, FNB Art uh, uh, Johannesburg of of course, being a uh, calendar event that many would look forward to, albeit that you you may not be a uh, uh, a um, connoisseur, as it were, of the arts. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Cindy. Thank you so much for um, having me today. I've just come from Maboneng myself, and it is vibrant. It is exciting. I'm loving the intergenerational discussions that are taking place between the two generations. The, the space is filled with so many curators from who are young and old from the continent and from Johannesburg. And the panels are exciting. They're talking about the past. They're talking about the current situation we find ourselves in, in, in Johannesburg, the real issues, and of course, the future. Um, so it is really an exciting warm-up that you could have this um, intergenerational discussion taking place at Arts on Main at the Center for the Less Good Idea. Uh, we have such an exciting lineup in a couple of hours, in fact, at half past five today. Five o'clock, Ken William Kentridge will debut in um, a play, um, a performance that will be shown around the world. This is the first time it will be shown in South Africa. And just before then, there's a panel of mostly a highly esteemed woman um, cultural patrons, Bulani Kingston, Dr. Joyce, fluent from LA, um, and you know, and young collectors like Marubeng Mangwedi. So it's really, really exciting that you could actually have this dialogue taking place um, between these two generations in one room. And of course, all of that leads up to um, the fair itself next week, um, which is our 16th edition. So we're very proud that we have been um, on this journey for this long. In fact, um, one of the reasons why we, we launched the BMW Art Generation was to really celebrate the true talent that comes from Joburg. We find that in many ways, Johannesburg always sets the agenda. Um, and the art fair was the first African art fair um, in the whole of Africa. We led yes. the way. Yes, um, and, and, and so, Mandla, just to look at the impact, of course, of the public-private partnerships, as uh, it's, it's, it's referred to, in, in dealing with social ills. I mean, you know, in terms of urban decay and what we've seen uh, with the tragic fire uh, that happened on Thursday, the arts plays a very critical space, not only in uh, rejuvenating the city center, but also bringing a lot of, um, be it uh, business tourists or those that, that are there to just enjoy uh, what the, uh, the the city has to offer. Absolutely. Um, the artists are obviously reflecting issues as they are. You know, artists are quite free people. They speak their mind. They, their work reflects um, where we come from, where we are, and where we're going. And um, so a lot of that stuff you'll find in the discussions that are taking place already now here at the Center for the No Less Good Idea, which is really fantastic and reaffirming um, that things are not all completely or lost or that bad, uh, that there is a way to find new solutions. But what's also exciting is the vibrancy of the inner CBD. And I think that part of the purpose of um, the brands behind um, both the FNB Art Job at Fair and the BMW Art Generation being FNB and BMW is that they're making such bold statements of saying, we are not afraid to go back. And this is part of the reclaiming of the city. Yes, a lot of things are not working. Um, Johannesburg is one of the oldest cities uh, cities in the world. And you can see as you drive through the journey from one side of the CBD to another, it's really an, uh, it's a roller coaster. I, I, I can't lie about that. But when you get there, you get this energy and this vibrancy that um, you'll never experience anywhere else in, in South Africa for that matter. Yeah, and, and what you're you, you also highlighting is the uh, migration of many businesses that have opted to either, you know, even move provinces for that matter, let alone uh, uh, cities. Uh, this could just attract or entice other businesses to reinvest in the city as part of the rejuvenation pl uh, project. Yeah, absolutely. If people like William Kendridge, um, who had set up his studio, he is one of the most important artists to come out of 
Africa and to come out of Johannesburg for him to affirm that he is staying in Mabone, uh, regardless of what anyone else says, that he will drive from where he lives to come to Mabone every day to make his work, is a massive commitment that, look, um, a cultural icon like him um, is happy to work here. And this is a space where he collaborates with the next generation of performers, musicians, Mabone. So that's really, really, really... Um, mm. uh, let, let, let's talk about just taking the art um, and the, uh, the talent outside the confines of South Africa, the whole Africa Free Trade Agreement, and um, you know, whether we're utilizing that network to also get the, the art out um, to, to the rest of the world. All right, Mandla, I think uh, we've lost him there. Uh, there was a break in uh, his connection. But that was Mandla Sebego speaking to us about the FNB Art Johannesburg, start, uh, which starts on Friday next week.